there's something about a blue dial watch that's just fantastic. I don't know about you guys, but when you look at the Seiko Sumo, the classic non-prospects, well, it's still a part of the Prospect series, but this is the Gen 1 where it has the automatic on the dial down at the bottom. The scuba sign is just something cool about having a Gen 1 Sumo. And it's just cooler, I mean, than, it, than having the Sapphire. You know, the Sapphire is nice. Um, the the uh, Cyclops glass is nice on some of the newer Seikos. But having a Gen 1 Sumo on an end mill, a la Jeffrey McMahon, you got to put it on the end mill because if Jeffrey McMahon catches you without an end mill, in the mail on your sumo he may attack you that's that's what I heard it's this damped bezel action it's just the sumo is just a classic rock star this is like ACDC this is like the ACDC of watch. This is like the Bono of watches. It never goes out of style. You know? This this watch is just it's just cool. It got the panage. When you put the enemy on it, it just it just reeks badass. You know, the big bold numbers, the applied markers, the fantastic loom. The domed Hardlex crystal snubbing its nose to the sapphire. A lot tougher than sapphire. A lot less prone to shatter. The ultra cool Seiko S on a crown. I mean, that big crown right at four o'clock. I mean, what's better than this? You know? Everybody talks about <clears throat> Sapphire upgraded movements, upgraded power reserve. This thing was ahead of its time. Even though it doesn't have a Sapphire, it still has a 60 click bezel. It has 200 meters water resistance, screw down crown, a unique case, a lot of bang for the buck. Where it was lacking in the bracelet, strap coat, that's a quick fix for 100 bucks update this watch it updates this watch to fantastic territory and the big numbers and the big loom plots and the big loom just make it they're like it's like the original baby marine master you know everybody knew that the sumo punched above its weight and i think it still does i think it's still relevant I think the Gen 1s can live right alongside the new ones because it's like, it's not like having a classic Mustang, you know, or something like that. It's almost like having a muscle car from the 80s, like a Grand National. You know, it's old, you can't get it, you know, it's it's not as cool as a GTO or a or, or 66 GTO. But an 87 Grand National or 87 GNX is, 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 is just as badass, is just as legendary. And that's what the Sumo is. It's just a legendary watch. Now this one, let's see what this one is running. This is my Blumo. I'm never going to sell my Blumo. Gem 1. And let's see what the time grapher is going to reveal for a 10-year-old watch. Four seconds a day, 255 um, of degrees of amplitude, 21,600 beats per hour, 0.4 milliseconds beat error. It's running pretty good for an old watch. 
just about chronometer specs. You see it dropped down to two seconds a day once it's settled in. Got that 6R uh, 15 movement in there, 50 hour power reserve. And it's just it's it's just kick ass. It still is. After all these years, this watch is still kick ass. Now look what it looks like on my 7.25 inch wrist. You have all that wrist presence that Jeff McMahon talks about. Look at that. And on the end mill, it can't be beat. Man. Got to put a um, Sumo Gen 1 in your collection if you guys are, are, are serious collectors. At one time, uh, what's his name, said this watch was better than the Rolex. Um, <clears throat> one of the reviewers, I forgot his name. He's a big time Rolex reviewer. He loved this watch. And this watch just has quality, quality, quality to fit and finish, to polish, case back. Everything is just lovely on this watch. Nice domed crystal, hard lex crystal, beautiful broadsword hands, nice loom plots, and let's not forget the loom. Let's check the loom out. That fantastic Seiko Luma bright. Look at that. Still going bright. Can't beat that. Gen 1 Sumo. It's been reviewed to death. And it's probably going to be reviewed more every time somebody discovers it. Anyway, I hope you like this watch. It's one of my watches. I'm showing watches that are in my collection that I really don't. I really felt they weren't that significant because they're not new, so a lot of people might not watch these videos, but I'm going to go ahead and make videos on my all my um, older collection anyway, stuff I got tucked away. So that's the watch once over. My name is Biggie, and that's the Seiko Blue Mode Gen 1. Get one before they're gone. Good night. God bless.